a um, tradition in tournament play to not talk about the next step until you've climbed the one in front of you. I'm sure going to the state finals is beyond your wildest dreams, so let's just keep it right there. Forget about the crowds, the size of the school, their fancy uniforms, and remember what got you here. Focus on the fundamentals that we've gone over time and time again. And most important, don't get caught up thinking about winning or losing this game. If you put your effort and concentration into playing to your potential to be the best that you can be, I don't care what the scoreboard says, at the end of the game, in my book, we're going to be winners. Okay? All right! Let's go! Let's go! Let me hear it! Go, 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 go! Being based on a true story, Hoosiers will take you through a ride of real-life emotion and passion throughout a story of ha heartfelt dedication to the sport of basketball. Overall, I would give the movie Hoosiers a 4 out of 5. In this big-time, small-town film about high school basketball in Indiana, you get the feel of the town's passion and love for the sport as a new head coach comes into the school. He is faced with troubles and expectations based off of his past. Without the best player in town playing for the team, the coach uses only a few players to develop a slow-moving, defensive-based basketball team. Coach Dale is forced to find an assistant coach who is the drunken father of one of his players, which causes controversy within the town's committee and almost costs him his job. Just as Coach Dale was about to lose this position, the star basketball player Chitwood speaks out and opts to play, but only if Coach Dale is the coach. With the outcome of winning being a long shot, Chitwood hits a heroic last-second shot to bring home the championship at Hickory, faming himself, Coach Dale, and the town of Hickory. Hoosiers deals with many different situations involving personal and emotional factors. In my opinion, I think Hoosiers deserve all of its acclaims and maybe even more. There are so many aspects of the film that grab your attention emotionally and can really hit home with its true story background. I believe that Gene Hackman really got into his role and it's obvious he fit the part. The other strong character roles really made it, really made the film more an all around and fulfilled their roles to my expectations. Gene Hackman's character had a lot of individual shot time that put him or someone else on the spot opening the door for a ton of reaction from other characters and the audience. Also with the reaction showed in these shots, you see the cinematography de detail as it moves from character to character, oh, like in the previous clips. There is tied at 40. There are 19 painful seconds remaining in the game. It'll be inbounded by Hickory in the backboard, along the sideline, passed in by Ray Butcher, who was responsible for the interception. second detail that I noticed and appreciated was the strong writing. Um, to its credit, the movie had great details starting with um, the passion of high school basketball in Indiana, um, starting from practice to the games, very expected and you know had your typical movie um, suspense and uh, kept you interested and you know really gave you a feel that you were in the movie. Uh, the realism of it uh, also kept me interested. I find that, I find that, find that cool and easy to follow. Um, the teamwork, the discipline, uh, mixed with great action, uh, it grabbed me and also left me thirsty for what was going to happen next. Um, I had the usual expected last second shot in the film, and uh, like most sports movies do. And uh, you know, I, but when it came, I really didn't know if it was going to happen, if that was going to fulfill my expectations. But at the end, of course, the last second shot for the for the home team. Uh, 
that definitely uh, made it more more real, like a movie, and easy to follow, and what is expected, but at the same time, left me very suspense, and uh, had a lot of suspense to it, and kept me interested, and kept me guessing. Like I said in the beginning, uh, I said I'd give this movie a 4 out of 5. Um, the reason I wouldn't give it a 5 out of 5 is because it does have your stereotypical, you know, last second shot. It seems kind of, you know, unrealistic or fake, and uh, really I just don't, I didn't find that the, the best, but at the same time it kept me interested and uh, definitely gave me a finish that I was looking for and, um, you know, made it easy to follow in the storyline. Had a lot of interesting things in it along with realistic, you know, casual everyday life problems like the alcoholism with uh, Dennis Hooper and, um, you know, just kept me interested and made me feel like I was in the movie more because of the realistic, you know, from practice to game, it gave you everyday life of these players and the coaches, you know, struggles that they deal with and definitely made it easy to follow. And so four out of five, definitely that's what I would give it and I'd recommend it to other people. So this film review, definitely a good one um, and had great expectations and uh, definitely fulfilled these expectations.